Welcome again to another video, prestigious viewers. We will talk about the company's financial limitations, the probable relocation of the AMC check, Short's continuous inability to settle the 308 billion synthetics, and other relevant issues in this post. The phenomena of hedge funds short selling AMC is illustrated in this image. He's thinking about how AMC could outperform these hedge funds if it paid them dividends all at once. This paper concerns the conjecture that AMC is dispersing $250 million using an automated teller machine ATM in order to maintain a minimum cash position as required by senior creditors. The latest financial reorganization results in the elimination of covenants. Since short sellers are the first to distribute dividends when a stock is issued, as was previously indicated, the AMC dividend is a calculated move on their part. Thus, regardless of whether they are holding actual AMC shares or not, short sellers who possess millions or billions of the company's shares, whether legal or fraudulent, will be required to pay the dividends on time. First and foremost, having a strong balance sheet increases the probability that we will reach a point at which we can start paying out dividends. It makes sense for AMC to take such moves if they are making money on the other hand, it would be foolish for them to do so if they are losing money. Therefore, with the procurement of capital, we can expedite the process by enabling additional growth, reducing the likelihood of bankruptcy, and tackling several other matters that indubitably contribute to the expansion of our enterprise. For this reason, the cash and share offerings will speed up the payment of AMC dividends. Furthermore, the fact that the shorts were unable to complete their positions makes it clear that the $250 million is regarded as free money. This is because apes have the ability to float more than once, and anyone who understands this will surely get wealthy. The MOAS, in my opinion, cannot be avoided, but it may take up to two years to bear. Financial advice, so this is something we have talked about in the past before, and I think most people will agree with this, is the fact that shorts right now are extremely overleveraged in their positions with short exposure in AMC. We're not talking about 1020 or even 1, double zero 200 million we're talking. About 2202 200 billion worth of shares are out there for AMC synthetics, and so even if we offer up to 250 million worth of shares, while yes, they can buy up all of the shares that's being offered, but still, it wouldn't go anywhere near enough to how many shorts they really do have on hand and so. Again, it could maybe help them out in the short period, it could ease the tension for them, but in the long run, it still isn't anything towards the amount of shorts. That they have created but also understand is that again, the retail is obviously still buying into AMC, and so a big amount of the float is still going to be taken over by the RET, and already the majority flow of AMC shares that are existing are also owned by retail investors, and so either way, shorts unable to close their short positions that easily just because AMC is offering an um stock offering, and again, going back to what we talked about here, is why understanding that this will actually put more benefit than actually disadvantages out there for AMC. Hey, everyone. Here's a yeah for every AMC shareholder who is shitting their beds over 250 million shares the Morant squeeze. 3.77 billion is the amount left over after deducting 250 million shares from 308 billion naked shorts. Please proceed with caution and do your own research to confirm the truth of the financial advice given in this video. But in this case, we may look at the following. There are 38 billion bear shorts in the world. This number is clearly significant because it is unclear exactly how many synthetic shorts and how much AMC there are. Still, there is a great urge to make purchases, go shopping, and watch movies. What we do know is that, based on data that we have previously seen, there is a significant amount when it comes to the Citigroup, Option Locate, and Futures contracts. This data does not even account for all offshore firms we have previously seen at least 5 billion synthetic AMCs. Consequently, the number that he is using here is clearly 308 billion. Min is $250 million, remember it's $250 million as opposed to shares is still $30 billion, and even if we take a look at $5 billion minus by how many shares that will be sold is still a very big amount, and so even. If we were to get over 500 million shares being sold, which again is not possible, but for the sake of this argument we'll say it is, if 500 million shares were sold, and we had 5 billion synthetics that would take us to again 4.5 billion synthetic shares still existing out there and again, if we take A. Look at what we talked about here. If a C were to offer dividends and they offer a simple um one, two, three dollars, then the shorts will have to pay either four billion, um eight billion, or even twelve billion. And again, that is depending on how many synthetic shares that are out there, and that's depending on what the AMC. Dividend chooses to price his target at. And so there is multiple factors right now which will obviously affect this, but you guys can see by again speeding up the process to be offering a dividend. If obviously we are offering a massive AM amount of dividends, then this will help us beat the short sellers. What we can see as well is that short sellers do not want the dividends to happen, 
and this is the reason why here is the perfect example of a bank not having liquidity after Citigroup. Failed to pay its debts for a second week in a row, AMC stated that it was willing to participate in debt repayment and refinancing. The DTCC claims that Citigroup is having financial difficulties since they have missed three weeks in a row of bill payments. This clarifies a couple points for our comprehension first off. It's clear that those who are shorting AMC, as well as the organizations criticizing the company, are currently having financial difficulties. When we look at AMC, on the other hand, AMC right now is not struggling for money. Yes, they are obviously doing the stock offering, but they haven't shown any signs of weakening in finances. This is just rather strengthening their already existing strong finances, and so just fundamentally there is a big difference between the short sellers. Part of AM and AMC themselves, but furthermore, going back to what we talked about, in terms of the dividends, this is why it's key. If we take a look at this right now, like we talked about, if AMC were to offer dividends, the short sellers of AMC will be the first to be paying these dividends they are in, responsible and in charge of paying the dividends for the shares that they have shorted. So if we're seeing the short sellers of AMC right now already struggling for money, already defaulting on their payments again, indicating the fact that they don't have enough capital right now when they do have to offer the money for dividends, where are they going to get that money from and what position will it cause them to obviously get themselves into furthermore what we have to understand is that Citigroup is also one of the groups that we've seen data where they own synthetics of AMC, also known as the Brazilian ADR shares, which we talked about in the past. So on top of their existing short positions of AMC, they also have to pay for the synthetics of AMC that they own. And so you guys can see how, again, if they already don't have the money to be doing their normal fundamentals, doing their normal operations as an institution, then when they do have to pay the AMC dividends is going to put them in a very bad position. This will obviously lead them to either recover the AMC share. So they have to pay less dividends or B sell other assets to again, make sure they have enough money to pay the AMC dividends. And so you can see how this is the checkmate move because again, inevitably, maybe the first time AMC offering dividends won't bankrupt since group, but if we continuously offer out dividends in Citigroup needs to sell off assets every single time just to make sure that they can get the payments going, then it will come to a time where they no longer have any assets to sell. Also remember is that if they're selling their assets because they are lacking payment, they will have to sell their assets at discount and that itself will also put a very bad um, toxic exposure towards the city group as well. And so you can see how this is actually extremely beneficial for us. Furthermore, what we can also see is obviously reverse repo. So right now we're seeing it sitting at $600 billion, but again, it is still extremely low in comparison to the 2 trillion. So whether we're looking at the actual fundamentals of institutions themselves, of the short sellers themselves, or understanding the credit that these short sellers can borrow, they are all not in a good position. And so AMC, again, like I said, fundamentals, we are looking extremely well as opposed to the short sellers who are looking extremely bad, so you can see why if we can help AMC stay in the game and avoid. Going bankrupt, we could improve our financial balance. This puts them in a terrible situation since they don't know that there are billions upon billions of naked shorts in the world and that short sellers don't pay their payments. Moreover, they fail to recognize that the shorts are the ones who finance the row and get dividends first.